everybody welcome to my home welcome to my kitchen this is Alessandra and today I am going to be making for you and for my family a stuffed mushroom simple easy and delicious now the reason why these are super easy and what I love about them is that you really don't need to wait for the holidays to make them they're so quick that you could almost make them with any meal so the first thing I'm going to do is going to give you the ingredients. So here we have the mushrooms. I don't like to buy them too large. I try to get all the same size. So if you could buy them loose, that's the best way. So you could kind of pick all the same size so they cook evenly. And now you have the, the fresh parsley, garlic, pecorino romano, and unflavored Italian bread breadcrumbs. And what I mean by Italian bread breadcrumbs, I get it on my local bakery or when I have breadcrumbs left, I put it through the processor and make my own. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is in the chopper is chop your, gar your garlic and your parsley. And we're going to do that in a second. But I want to show you the next thing. The next thing, we're going to remove the stem of the mushroom just like this. See, just gently kind of snap it out like that, and it comes right out. But I want to show you something else that I do. A spoon, a little espresso spoon. Scrape around the mushroom, so what that does, it gives more room for the stuffing to be in. So here it goes. Okay, see that? All right, I'm going to do that for every one. You could even... Look, you can even do this. With the spoon, just go round, 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 right? It kind of snaps right off so you're not breaking it. See that? You want to remove it so you have a lot more space. So, Because that's what's delicious is the stuffing in it. All right, so let's get this chopped up, that uh, taken out, and uh, meet you by the stove. Parsley and the garlic is minced, so I'm going to add it to a saute pan and also what I'm going to add is the olive oil. I want to say about five, five tablespoons. Yeah, that seems about right. Put the heat on, don't put it on high and a medium is good. Without losing concentration that you have the um, garlic on the stove and you don't want it to burn, I'm going to chop the, the, the stem of the mushrooms. It's all minced. Let's move it over to the stove. Okay, the garlic is looking fantastic. Look at that. This is what you want. Make sure you don't burn it because if you do burn it, you got to start all over because the garlic that's burned is bitter. Now I'm going to add the crushed, the chopped mushroom stems. You'll see it really comes together quickly. And uh, uh, once I add this, the next thing I'm going to go put my oven on 375 because this cooks rather quickly. 375 and uh, let it warm up. to see that it's cooked because it changes the color and it does release a little bit of the water now the next step is also it looks very little because I'm not doing a lot of mushrooms if you're doing a lot then you gotta double up on the amounts so I'll count the mushrooms and let you know how many they are now I'm going to add the breadcrumbs and get it nice and toasted See now the, the uh, breadcrumbs will absorb the oil. Don't worry, it's not going to be dry because we're going to be adding a little dab of butter right on top of each mushroom. Now it's a good time to add some fresh black pepper and a little bit of salt, I'm going to say. About half a teaspoon, not too much because we're gonna add a lot of pecorino romano and that's very salty, so you don't want the mixture to be too salty. Perfect. 
Now the bread is toasting. I can smell it. Let me taste it too. Oh wow. Really good. Really, really good. Okay. Let's let it cool down a minute or so and then we'll add the cheese. Pecorino Romano went in. Look how it looks, okay? Now we're gonna get it in each mushroom. With a little spoon, just fill it and press it down a little bit like this. I'm going to continue filling them and I'll be right back. Okay, they're all ready. Now the last thing that's gonna pull it all together. I'm gonna add a little piece of butter on each one of them. Keep the butter in the fridge till uh, so it's very cold, it's easier to put it on. What I did was I left it out where I was filling them and now the butter is all sticky. You don't want too much butter, just a little, little, little piece. Okay, let me put it on all of them. There it goes. 375 in the oven and I'm gonna time them. minutes have passed yes they look perfect okay here they are okay let's plate them I have about four vultures staring at me ready to grab these mushrooms so I got to be really quick with the video total of 32 mushrooms that's important for you as a garland that was sm small to medium uh, this is all is left my vultures love them all anyway subscribe hit the bell button you can be notified we have the 12 days of cookies coming up the Christmas edition delicious traditional authentic Italian desserts so please uh, subscribe. I hope you love my, my recipes as much as I love preparing them for you. Grazie mille, arrivederci, alla prossima. Ciao, ciao.